Hey guys, welcome back to Ivy Crypto. Today I want to talk about VeChain or VET, one of the top 20 cryptocurrencies at the moment and I personally think one of the best investments for the next 5 to 10 years in blockchain technology. Currently trading at 13 cents USD, down from a high of 25 cents not too long ago. I'll give you a price prediction towards the end of this video as well. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. As always, leave me your comments with your thoughts on VeChain. VeChain is a blockchain-based platform that records the truth of what happens at every stage of the supply chain. It combines physical tracking with blockchain records to keep tabs on real-world products from production to delivery, helping to prevent fraud and increase transparency. So I really like this one, guys. I've been invested in it since a few cents, and I will be invested in it in the long term, not really planning on selling my VeChain anytime soon. But essentially, it's a blockchain built to help make supply chain simpler. It was originally conceived as a way to determine if a real-life product is fake or not, preventing frauds and knockoffs. Since then, it's been used by major corporations to keep track of everything from wine production to car manufacturing. The way it does that is simple. Give each product a unique identity, then use sensors to track what happens at each stage of the supply chain. That way, companies can be sure products are handled correctly and consumers can verify their purchases are legitimate. So obviously, absolutely great use in the world of supply chain. Everything is bought online. Everything is you know delivered and we're just going to get more and more into that lifestyle as the years go on. The main thing I want to talk about today is the partnerships that VeChain has and why I think this is a big reason why the price will skyrocket. There's quite a few here, so I will zoom in and, and scroll down so you guys can have a look at what I'm looking at. But the extent of these partnership is, is wide and it's varied and some of them haven't even panned out yet. The list is long enough to sustain serious investor interest and we already know that several of these are working out just fine. A few of the bigger ones are PwC, Walmart China, Bayer, Grant Thornton, BYD, and BMW. I'll put a longer list of some of the smaller ones um, in, in the description so you guys can see it, and I do recommend doing your own research. Uh, but obviously the big hitters are the ones that we just discussed. DNV is one that I would like to talk about. DNV is a global order and certification service. It's one of the largest companies in Norway. The company itself did more than $2 billion in revenue last year alone. But even more than that, it's been a dominant force in every blockchain logistics and has done most of the work through VeChain. It's the small engine powering a lot of the growth here. You can see examples of what of, sorry, you can see examples of with that with projects like Resi, which will allow a company to recycle sea materials to make consumer to make consumer goods. Another example is with DMV's My Story, which helps pro producers keep track of their products from something akin to farm to table. As DNV utilizes VeChain for its Tag Trace Trust program, how about using this with Hydro, a massive international aluminium company? VeChain scope becomes one of the leveraging blockchain as a vital part of the next decade of business tracing. So obviously just that company alone, guys, you can see it's got absolutely amazing use. And trust is vital here, and that's why it was good news when late last year VeChain was certified by an international agency as the only five-star blockchain. If DNV is the silent giant behind establishing VeChain partnerships, then Walmart China is the customer that's leading the way. And what a great customer to have as your largest utilizer, the world's biggest company in the world's most emerging market, tagging a regular household and consumer goods. You can actually visualize the Walmart China contract use by some of these clients. This is just a snapshot of one day where you can see Walmart China has used over 1 million contracts on the blockchain, which is absolutely huge. You can also see here more of the VeChain partnerships in depth and a little bit about what they've done. So DMV on the screen that we've just talked about, PwC also another big one, and there's a couple of other ones that I want to talk about. VeChain is also two valuable partners in the Chinese tobacco industry, the China State Tobacco Monopoly Administration and the National Tobacco Corporation. The Chinese market is responsible for roughly 41% of all cigarettes smoked globally 
and a major problem for this industry is counterfeit cigarettes. Together with its two national level tobacco partnerships, VChain can help tackle this issue by launching de decentralized supply chain application just specifically for the Chinese tobacco industry. On top of that, VChain has two large financial partners. The first one is BitOcean, a Japanese company that is building ATM solutions for cryptocurrencies, which is massive to think about. And the second financial partner is Fangu Wang, a company that is providing collateral backed loans to small to mid sized businesses. What applications we specifically built for these companies is still largely unknown, although it's clear that v the VeChain platform will assist these companies in their data management and identification process. So it's absolutely perfect, and, and other notable partnerships are on the screen. VeChain's got more partnerships than even most blockchain projects that have a large market cap. In fact, in terms of number of valuable partnerships, VeChain is one of the biggest projects in the industry today, only behind Ethereum and its Ethereum Enterprise Alliance and Ripple's financial companies network. So obviously VeChain, even though it's only in the top 20, it's absolutely huge. It's got massive partnerships and I don't think we've really started to see the potential for this one just yet. I want to show here uh, something I'll talk about shortly, but I think the vision, in contrast to most other blockchain, VeChain's blockchain has already been rolling out apps since 2015 on its private chain. Through this, the team has amassed significant industry experience and is aware of existing problems in a variety of industry. This experience is one of the major reasons that VeChain leadership has been able to attract so many valuable partnerships. The VeChain platform is developed and maintained by the VeChain Foundation, which is a not-for-profit based in Singapore. The CEO is Sunny Liu, a rising star in the blockchain industry and previously involved in the creation of another Chinese blockchain startup, Qtom. He is backed by several experts in a multitude of tech-oriented industry and supported by a globally dispersed team comprising of over 90 developers. So absolutely huge, guys. And I wanted to sort of shoot off my top 10 reasons in this video why I think you need to buy VeChain and why I think you should be a long-term holder of, of VeChain. So number one, VeChain tracks enormous amounts of data from different fields to streamline the business. They collect data as such temperature, humidity, and acceleration by the use of IoT sensors. Anyone can scan a product's QR code and get the desired product's details from manufacturing to packaging by using their platform. Number two, 2UV Saarland has certified VeChain as a five-star blockchain service provider. That is huge in and of itself. Number three, VeChain. VeChain's digital vehicle solution stores critical data of automobiles on its blockchain. It secures the manufacturing details, service details, insurance information, and banking details of the world's top car makers. The top, world's top vehicle makers are adapting this technology. Number four, the Vet Superior platform enables a flourishing NFT ecosystem. Anyone can migrate and build their own project on VeChain Thor. VeChain is one of the pioneers of connecting NFTs with the real world, and VeChain combines both DeFi and CeFi sort sectors. This strategy creates a balanced platform and high speed value transfer. Number five, VeChain uses various types of radio frequency tags and sensors to collect important data during shipment. This creates a powerful and sustainable ecosystem for the business. So you've got this here. This was about NFTs. And this one here, number six, VeChain Wallet. Users can stake their VET to earn some passive income. The longer you stake VET, the more you earn. Anyone can download the wallet from Android or iOS applications. It secures the mobile wallet by using two-factor authentication and it has a simple interface and users can track transactions held outside their mobile wallets. Number seven, because of projects like VeChain, blockchain is more than just a cryptocurrency now. It is one of the most efficient and secure blockchains. Number eight, VeChain introduced the VVote platform. This is a transparent platform where stakeholders can cast their votes. Number nine is the VeChain team, which we'll talk about here. The CEO of VeChain is Sunny Liu. He's one of the founding members of VeChain. He's also worked as a CIO at Louis Vuitton China. Moreover, he is over, he's, has great experience working with Fortune 500 companies. You can see some of the team here. 
And number 10 is the token economics. So that allows for proof of authority model. That token is used for trading on exchanges and the chain Thor Energy, the VTHO. This token helps to enhance smart contract transactions. Only developers can use these tokens to cover their contract execution costs. So another thing that I really like about VeChain is the diversification. It started off developing blockchain-based solutions for the supply chain industry. The team realized VeChain solutions could be applicable to many other industries, so now they're developing solutions for other industry. VeChain offers Ethereum-like platform for developing decentralized apps. VeChain Thor, as it will be known, will be the new blockchain of which VeChain Thor tokens will be used. We talked about the team. The foundation is great. The decentralization is obviously a big one. At a time where many cryptocurrencies like BCH, Ripple, and others are being criticized for encouraging centralization, VeChain is decentralized in every sense. Not only does it have offices across the world, but it has a network of 111 nodes spread out across countries like the UK, Germany, China, Japan, and South Korea. So those are just some more of the reasons why I absolutely love VeChain. Also, the spread of industries that it can uh, go across to. So a broad range of use cases, supply chain, automotive, tobacco, renewable energy, internet of things, data management, financial, luxury goods, sustainable development, liquor, retail, agriculture, and logistics. Just to name a few, a couple more things I want to talk about, guys. Obviously, China has backed VeChain. Uh, this article calls it the China-backed Ethereum killer cryptocurrency VeChain. The price has surged 2,000% just in the last year, but I do think this is just the beginning. I will link this article in the description, uh, but I do find it quite interesting that China has backed VeChain, and obviously there's a little bit going on there with China banning Bitcoin, China releasing their own crypto, all sorts of things there, but I do think the fact that VeChain does have the backing of China does make it a big player in the space. Something else that I think is absolutely huge. So VeChain together with DMV enables the Renji Hospital to launch the world's first ever blockchain-based IVF service app called My Baby. So guys, obviously IVF is a huge these days. Couples all over the world struggle, same-sex couples, all sorts of stuff. This is absolutely fantastic that VeChain can be involved in this. And it's a new era for fertility treatment. And again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think that this can go way further. And, you know, again, this will pump the price of VeChain as it does more and more of these things. And lucky last, I found this great article about how VeChain technology is changing the supply chain industry, which obviously as we see AI and technology take over, guys, supply chain, I think, is still a space that obviously will have humans working in it but it is going to be more and more technology driven and we will see technology take over as the years go by but technology has always played a part in helping industries to develop grow and operate with greater efficiency for supply chain a type of technology is revolutionizing the way it operates and it's called v chain so it talks a little bit about it it is divided into three sections: real-time supply chain cryptocurrency and the v chain platform the developers has, have used a decentralized ledger to improve the product life cycle management and supply chain protocols. VeChain provides businesses with the opportunity to track large amount of data and can be bought using trading pairs. The advantage of using VeChain over other crypto technology, like I said, it's got a real world use case. It's still absolutely dirt cheap. I mean, trading at 13 cents, guys, I bought VeChain just at a few cents. And my price prediction is $1 in 2021. I think it'll go 2 to $3 in the next two to three years minimum. But long term, I do see VeChain being a top five cryptocurrency in the next five to 10 years. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, watch this space.